soda. Pop. Soda pop. No matter what you call it, people consume more than 10,000 Coca-Cola soft drinks each second. I bet you thought I was going to say year. I know I did. Coca-Cola is the most popular soft drink in the world. You've probably heard that it used to contain cocaine. Yes, that's true. And you've also probably heard that Dr. Pepper is the first soft drink created. No, that's false. If it isn't Dr. Pepper, what is the oldest pop in the world? And what does it have to do with Michigan's very first pharmacist, the American Civil War, a complete and total accident, and controversial brewing methods? Stick with us as we burst the Dr. Pepper bubble and slurp up the secret identity of the oldest soft drink. The origin of the first soft drink traces back to the year 1862. James Verner was Michigan's first pharmacist. His license number was literally number one. Health tonics were all the rage back then, and Verner was trying to invent a tonic to cure tummy aches. Werner created a syrup with vanilla, spices, and a pinch of ginger. The American Civil War was also brewing around this time. Werner got called to fight in the war shortly after coming up with the recipe. Ever the optimist, Werner stored his syrup in an oak barrel for safekeeping while he was away. But Werner was gone a lot longer than anyone expected. Four years later, Werner returned to his beloved barrel and found his syrup had aged like a fine wine. You've heard of barrel-aged bourbon. How about barrel-aged syrup? And so, Werner's ginger ale was born. That's right, Werner's is the oldest soda pop, and it was created by accident almost 20 years before Dr. Pepper. Speaking of alcohol, the term soft drink was coined to separate it from alcoholic beverages. Hard drinks contained alcohol, but soft drinks did not. Well, that's clever. Werner's is a golden colored drink that tastes somewhere between cream soda and ginger ale. Its sweet vanilla scent is very distinct from other beverages. The original soda was so strongly carbonated that it could sting you if you didn't expect it. But this ginger ale tail isn't so cut and dry. Dry, get it? That's a good one. I should have opened with that one. In Canada, there's a ginger ale called Canada Dry. You see, James Verner didn't apply for a trademark for Verner's until 1911. And he stated that Verner's had only been on the market since 1880 and not 1865. This suggests that the recipe was created after the war and not before. Regardless, the recipe has stood the test of time. In 2015, Werner's sold 7 million cases globally. Today, Werner's recipe and brewing methods are a company secret. Some old timers who drank the original Werner's from the 1900s reported that today's drink tastes nothing like the original. Some fans suspect that Werner's is no longer aging its soft drink for four years. Some reports say it gets aged for three years, but others say it isn't aged at all there may be some truth to the rumors. Werner's dropped the barrel-aged claim from its cans. At least we know one thing for sure. The original Werner's soft drink from the 1900s must have been a real treat. You thirsty for more sweet drinks? Check out where the trendy Dalgona coffee comes from next on Origins of Food.